Hey guys, in this quick video tutorial I will show you how to create in Cinema 4D and V-Ray a stainless steel material. Uh, this is a medium simple material. First of all, like usual, create a brick bridge, advanced material, like this one. And now I show you the settings of my material. Uh, first thing to do is create an almost black diffuse layer. So I set the brightness to 10% and now I activate my specular layer. Set it up with a brightness of 90% because 100% is like chrome material so I don't want it, I want a stainless steel material so 90% almost white and the Fresnel IOR to 7. It's work me good for me. After I set it up a little bit of noise on these reflections so I create a new noise texture simply go here on this arrow create a noise and set up and I set it up with a little contrast on it with hammer noise type here and a global scale of 5% I want a very small detail on it and I set it up on multiply with 0.5 of mix strength so the brightness is uh, affected in multiply mode by an half from my texture I simply copy this texture and paste it on my uh, reflection glossiness and set, set it up to mix strength to 0.7 so I won um, almost uh, it's equivalent to a uh, reflection glossiness of 0.85 maybe it's not a very shine, very perfect material, but not uh, a gloss, a uh, matte material, sorry. Now I will show you how it's look like with these settings. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have a nice look stainless steel. This is a simple material, uh, but with these noise uh, layers, I have created some variation on glossiness and reflection, like here and glossy like here, uh, and is more realistic than the flat one. So I like to use this kind of tricks to improve my real, uh, uh, to improve a little realism of my material shader. Uh, if you want to increase a bit the realism, but it's up to you, you can also use pump map. So I simply copy this texture like this and paste on it. After I change the value to this kind of more grayish look. To increase a bit of contrast and set it up my bump to 0 0.012 centimeter and invert this invert the map you can also invert this color is the same uh, this gives me a little bit of bumpiness on noise on the surface that increases a bit of the realism and i really like this so we can see it on render As you can see, I have this little kind of uh, 
small noises that increase the effect of stainless steel that's because the the steel is not perfect i think this kind of effort is more uh, evident in a close-up situation of not very um, fine object maybe a, a plate of steel or something else and it's work very good for uh, for renderings as you can see you can see here the difference from two, the two materials now uh, another thing i will show you it's how to increase the realism of it by using a simple dirt map in uh, specular layer 2 by activating it i can show you how it's work in rendering it's only drag and drop the texture the default settings are the same As you can see, like here and also there, we have increased the realism of our material by adding some scratches and dirt map and a little bit of white overlay on the material. I think this is a, it's a good effect for increase a bit the realism of the texture if you want to have some close-up of all the looking objects or something else so for this quick tutorial it's all follow me on instagram and here on youtube see you at the next lesson bye